Hi, my name's John. I'm at the radio call sign M7CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the air. Three of the websites already have simple, easy to follow, step by step instructions for how to set them up an account with them. Uh, I will simply just provide you with uh, the benefits of using these sites and links will be in the description to both the website and the instructions for them. One thing that amateur radio users have sought for a long time are QSL cards. Uh, EQSL provides a nice, easy, quick way of providing these, uh, allowing you to send and receive, as well as design your own QSL card. And you can even print them out. On this site, paid users can also earn certificates. Um, in addition to this, there are some shortwave listeners that will occasionally send QSL cards mentioning QSLs that they have heard. Please be patient with them, check your logs and confirm if you've got it in your log. A HRD log is also another one that's very easy to register with and use. Uh, Although you do not need to be registered in order to see the band plan usage. Um, if you do decide to register, you can upload your logs on the right hand side of the screen once you're logged in. In addition to the band plan usage, they also provide uh, a breakdown showing you where the transmissions are going and which bands are going which in which direction. Club log is mainly used for clubs. If you have joined a club uh, that uses it, they will tell you how to access their section of this site. If you wish to create an account for this, I will put a link in the description for their page. Once registered, uploading your logs is very easy. Simply click Upload on the top bar, then select your call sign. Ensure that it says Merge with existing log, otherwise it will delete all your old logs. Choose your log file and begin upload. Finally, click Submit Upload. QRZ is one of the main sources of information for amateurs from around the world and as such is one of the most important sites you should actually subscribe to. On QRZ you will find the user's call sign, their name, their biography with shack details, experience, uh, favourite aspects of the hobby etc, uh, photographs, uh, certificates earned and m far much more. Incidentally uh, your address and email and sensitive information such as that are only accessible from actual members so registered amateurs only in order to register you must first uh, go to the qrz forum and register for a forum account when you receive an email to confirm your registration, click the link to confirm and create a password. Once you've done this, go to the QRZ database help section and press post new threat.
post a message in the forum asking for a call sign to be added. You'll need to include your call sign, first name plus initial, your address on three lines, your zip or postcode and your country. Now wait until one of the QRZ volunteers approved your request. This can take some hours, so please be patient. Once done, go to QRZ and log in. Some basic information such as name and location are included as standard. If you choose to upload uh, any pictures of yourself, your shack, your antennas, awards, earned, and uh, anything else you decide that is entirely your choice. Not everyone does this. If you go to the details tab, you'll see that some of the information has already been filled in, uh, such as latitude and longitude. Now this is only approximate based on the address that you actually gave them. The more precise the address, the more precise the latitude and longitude. The grid square again is an approximation. I'll talk you through changing this in a moment. Uh, the ITU zone should be 27 for the UK and the CQ zone for the UK is 14. Also, uh, Great Britain is actually classed as an iota, and its reference is EU minus 005. Check these, anything that's missing or incorrect can be corrected in the call sign data section of your profile. Also, Click on the show map to see if it actually puts the pointer close to your address. It does not have to be exact. If the pointer is not in the correct place, click on your call sign on the top right hand side of the screen. Then click on edit followed by your call sign. Now click on the link that says map grid square and coordinate settings. Here you will see the map again with the pointer where it was. Um, you can click the pointer and drag it to where you actually are, want it to display. QRZ will now display the pointer at the place you've saved it at. Uh, I recommend you are as accurate as you can be with this. Uh, for people that are using Yagis, the more accurate they have your location, the more accurate they can point their Yagi at you in order to get a stronger signal. To upload your logs, click on your call sign and then click My Logbook. On the right hand side of the following screen, click Settings. Scroll down until you see ADIF Import Export and click Import. Now click the button marked Choose File. Locate the file marked ADI that is your logbook that you wish to upload and click open and finally click import ADI file. From time to time you'll want to check the awards tab. Simply click the awards tab then scroll down select each award individually to see if you've actually earned enough points to claim it. If once you have claim it and it will be added to your home screen. You can also click 
a link on each one to purchase it when you're ready. Beside your profile picture on your main page or at the top of each page you will see a list of the awards that you have won and also your paid membership status. With Logbook of the World from the ARRL you can earn certificates that you can purchase and use it to verify QSOs in both Club Log and QRZ. The first thing you'll need to do is download a program called TQSL and install it. After installing, create a folder somewhere on your system to store Logbook of the World related files. Use TQSL to request a call sign certificate. As you are not licensed in the United States, you will be requested to email a copy of your license information from Ofcom, not the pass certificate from the RSGB. Once you've received your certificates, for your call sign, uh, save it to the folder that you previously created and load it into TQSL. Once you've done this, select the Station Locations tab and select Create a new location for your station. Here you want to enter the grid square provided by QRZ, the ITU zone of 27 and the CQ zone of 14, plus the IOTA of EU minus 005, should you so wish. Once you've done this, click next and enter a name for your station's location, one that's easy for you to remember, and click finish. You can now load logs by going to the log options tab and clicking the top icon. Then browse and find your log files and click open. Next click yes, enter the start and end dates and click OK. If errors are detected on the screen that displays simply click ignore in order to upload the rest of your log files. On the occasions it detects uh, log entries that have already been uploaded simply click new QSOs only and it will upload the rest. Both Club Log and QRZ will accept confirmed QSOs from Logbook of the World. And here's how you go about it. In Club Log, scroll down until you see LOTW Sync and click on that. The first thing you'll need to do is upload your call sign certificate. So click choose file, locate where you saved your call sign certificate and select it and upload that. You can now download the confirmed QSOs from Logbook of the World. To do this, click the central second tab, enter your call sign followed by the ARRL username and the ARRL password then click the tick box to agree before finally clicking sync logbook of the world. One other thing you can do from Club Log 
is to actually upload uh, your logs from Club Log to Logbook of the World. To do this, click on the third tab, select your call sign, your Logbook of the World certificate will automatically be entered. If you do this on a regular basis, the dates become optional. Check to have you have the correct uh, CQ zone, ITU zone, grid square and the IOTA. Uh, your grid square can be obtained from QRZ. Once you've done this, click sign QSOs. I personally find this method easier than using the TQSL all the time. To synchronise Logbook of the World and QRZ, click on your call sign, go to My Logbook and click Setup. On the right hand side, you'll first need to click LOTW Setup. You will then receive the prompt to enter your Logbook of the World username and also to choose the file which is your logbook of the world call sign certificate once you've done these click save once you have logbook of the world set up you can now export or import uh, valid qsos from logbook of the world to import your verified QSOs from Logbook of the World, simply click Import, then enter your Logbook of the World password and import from Logbook of the World. <coughs> Alternatively, you can imp click Export and Enter your Logbook of the World password and click Export to Logbook of the World. Once the logs have been imported or exported, uh, you will be shown a summary of the amount of files in both import or export. If you then go back to your actual log file section, You'll notice that the background has changed from white to green on all your log files. Uh, also, there will be a number of the stars that have been verified as contacts that have circles surrounding them. Uh, these are the ones that have been verified via Logbook of the World as opposed to the ones that are verified by QRZ. I hope you found this video both enjoyable and informative. If you have, don't forget to the, click the like button and the subscribe. Uh, don't forget also to click the bell icon and select all so you receive notifications of new videos when they're up uploaded and also feel free to share it on any uh, social media platform that you personally use. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this video and I look forward to seeing you again and in the meantime catch you on the air.